Okay, uh, our next problem is 547. The motor has a weight of 4,000 newtons. Determine the force that each of the chains exerts on the supporting hooks at A, B, and C. Neglect the size of the hooks and the thickness of the beam. So we have a motor. It is uh, carried by the beam. There are hooks at point A, B, and C. And certainly the total weight is carried by the chain uh, at the center. So we are asked for the forces which is connected to the point A, point B, and point C. Uh, angles that the chains make with the vertical axis is given. It is 10 degrees for point A, it is 30 degrees for point B, and it is 10 degrees for point C as well. Okay, so let's draw the free body diagram of the beam first. So this is the first step. Of course, we have weight, which is vertical. This is our beam, and this is the center of the beam. We have FA here, FB, and FC. Now, um, first step is to choose a coordinate system. Of course, the best choice in this case is to choose the uh, horizontal axis as X and vertical axis as Y. And we will choose the counterclockwise direction as positive for the moment. Now, next step is to write the equilibrium equations. So some of the forces in X direction has to be equal to zero. This is first equilibrium equation. In fact, because of the choice of the uh, coordinate system, it is minus FA multiplied by sine 10 and minus FB multiplied by sine 30 plus FC sine 10, and that has to be equal to zero. This is our first equilibrium equation. Our second equilibrium equation is F by sum of the forces in Y direction has to be equal to zero. From here, we have minus FA cosine 10 minus FB cosine 30 and minus FC cosine 10 plus weight has to be equal to zero. Now, this is our second equilibrium equation. Now, our third equilibrium equation is sum of the moment with respect to any point is zero. Therefore, the best choice seems to be the point G or center of gravity. In this case, FA multiplied by cosine 10, because we have only, uh, of course, the perpendicular components uh, of the forces, which are perpendicular to the beam will make, will generate a moment. And FA cosine 10 multiplied by 0 0.15 plus FB cosine 30, because these two will create a positive moment, right? FA and FB, right? We'll try to rotate this beam in the positive direction, counterclockwise direction. FB cosine 30 multiplied by 0 0.15. And FC will try to rotate it in the opposite direction, in the clockwise direction. As a result, we have negative sign here. It is FC cosine 10 multiplied by 0 0.15. And this has to be equal to 0. Now, when we look at these equations, we have three unknowns, FA, FB, and FC. And we have three equations. Now, we can solve this set of equations. Then what we are going to find is FA will be equal to 2030.85 newtons, FB is zero, and FC is 2030.85 newtons.